Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video I want to be asking you are you hitting delete or hitting unsubscribe? <laughs> Please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them empty their inbox too. So I'm using the, the delete unsubscribe as a bit of an example here, but it kind of applies to lots of different areas of life. You know when you get that email drop into your inbox and you're like, I'm not sure I subscribe to this or I don't want to be subscribed to this anymore. Um, basically you don't want to read the email, but you just keep hitting delete. Instead of scrolling to the bottom, although quite a lot of times now it appears fairly like at the top in the bar on my iPhone, it's, there's always a thing at the top that says unsubscribe. But it feels so like natural and normal to just hit delete. We're not hitting that unsubscribe. We're not actually solving the problem. We're just sort of putting a band-aid over it. And then your like trash box ends up full as well. But also you're gonna have to repeat the process further down the line because you haven't solved the issue. <laughs> I guess it would be the same of like if you've got like some sort of bug infestation and you just kind of block up the hole they're coming out of, they're going to come out of holes elsewhere. That would be another interesting choice of analogies. It's looking at things in your life that are causing you stresses and worries and problems and work and eating at your time that you don't want there and trying to find a way of getting rid of them permanently. This might be, you get a lot of junk mail through your door if you get a lot of like the pizza flyers and stuff instead of just keeping putting them in recycling, is getting a label for your letterbox. We have one in our window. It doesn't always work, but it definitely has significantly reduced the amount of gump. Um, I would like to get one for the letterbox as well. And I do. I have actually chased people down the street and said, excuse me, there's a sign on our, le on our window that says we don't want any of these. And then I point out that a lot of people on our street also have that same sticker and please can they actually abide by the sticker and not put the unsolicited mail through our letterboxes. I mean, there's even things you can sign up to with raw mail that reduce like the unsolicited mail as well. Uh, we don't seem to get much of that. Most of ours seems to be like people putting flyers through the door, which is really irritating. Cause it's never for anything I want. Why can't they be able to fly for like protein shake or magic abs in a can? That would be great. But no, it's always for like Domino's or some other pizza company that I don't want to purchase from. Uh, or some garden landscaper and I'm like, yeah, we have AstroTurf as our garden because there's no sun on it. <laughs> I don't need a landscape gardener. Thanks though. Appreciate the um, piece of recycling that I've now got to put in the bin. So this could apply to lots of other things in your life. So a lot of places now don't give you the coat hangers, but maybe when you go shopping, you find it really annoying when they, they give you the coat hanger and you get home and you've actually got all the lovely, nice, those velvety flocked coat hangers that things don't slide off and you don't want lots of different branded coat hangers in your wardrobe and you've now got this stash of them because people always give them to you in your bag. Well, recycling it, throwing it away is again, is like that hitting delete. Whereas at the shop and saying no hanger and just getting it used to saying no, no hanger, please, please don't put the hanger in, much easier. Sorting out your receipts. Certain things you really don't need a receipt for. So instead of having to deal with them later, the hit delete, we unsubscribe at the till and say, please keep your receipt, put it in the bin, just don't print it. A lot of places are now asking before they print, or they're saying they want to send you a digital one. Uh, all the other examples seem to be eluding me right now, but you get the point, right? I mean, even if you just tackle your email inbox like this and unsubscribe, maybe there's like people in your Facebook feed that really annoy you and drain your sense of well-being. Unfollowing them and unfriending them is much better than every time having to deal with their messages appearing on your wall. But I do find that the email inbox is the big one. When we just keep hitting delete, we don't actually get around to unsubscribing from all these things at all. If you've got some other great examples of where in your life you've been hitting delete and you're now gonna hit unsubscribe, be it physically or metaphorically, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.